Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to put a splash screen script into RPG Maker XP. What this script will do is show two logos before going to the main menu of your game. Uh, it looks a little bit more professional than just going straight to the main menu, and in my opinion, it looks a lot nicer. So first off, just uh, download the script. I'll provide a link in the description. So for now, I just put it off to the side, minimize it. Then open up your RPG Maker and uh, open up your previous project or a new one. It's called Splash Screen. So once all loaded up, just go to your script editor, scroll down to main, and insert and call it scene underscore splash. That's important. It has to be like that. And then just go to your script, highlight it all, or control A, copy, and paste. Now when you have all that done, just go to the main, and where it says scene title dot new, replace title with splash. Then just click apply and OK. So now that we have the script in, we need to load in the pictures that make up the logo. So just go to the materials icon, go to titles, import, and select sorry, select your two pictures that you want for your logo. And just open them. And if you want the picture just like how it is, just no transparency on it, just click clear and clear. Click OK. Same with the second one. Clear, clear, OK. So now I've loaded them in. Just uh, remember what they're called. You need the exact lettering of them. And you can just close that down. Go back to your script. And uh, scroll all the way to the top. So as you see, I already have the names of the pictures in here. Oh, I forgot dot p and g. That's important. It has to be there. And uh, if you want background music with it, uh, while showing the two pictures, just type in the name of the music you want from your music folder, and uh, it'll come. Though it will usually be override, overridden by the music coming from the main menu itself. If you have applied that. For now, I'll just leave it like that. So just apply and OK. Remember to save it. And you can't, it will not appear in the playtest because it just skips that. It saves a lot of time if you want to just test the game. So you have to go to the folder where you saved it. Mine was called Project 5. So just open that. And then this is what it should have looked like. So as you see, one picture comes up. And then the other picture comes up again. And then it comes to the main menu. It'll go a little bit faster on your computer because, you know, I'm recording this. But that's how it should look like. So that's it. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed.